First, I want to thank you guys, you know, for being here. I want to thank our fans for coming out and doing a great job. Um, we didn't deserve to win today. Um, credit to Seton Hall. Um, they played harder. Um, you know, we talked about keys to the game before the game, ball reversals and not turning the ball over. And obviously, we didn't we didn't do that. And we got to play with much more energy. Um, you know, and, and and that's on me. But you know, credit credit Seton Hall and how they played. And we still had chances to win the game. Uh, but you have to deserve to win in, in basketball. We didn't deserve to win tonight, and that's on me. Go ahead, Jerry. Steve, that in, in rivalry games, you, you throw the records out. How much of this game was an example of that? The unpredictable, unpredictable nature of, of a rivalry. Yeah, I mean, you know, I always th throw the records out because, you know, it, you know, Seton Hall's good. He's a good coach. They got good players. Um, they do a really good job of stealing the ball, and that was a huge key for us, obviously, to not turn the ball over. Um, but these rivalry games, ever since I've been here, they've been a couple points here and there, you know, no matter what the records w w were of either team. So, you know, in the rivalry, you got to come and bring it. And uh, they brought it, and then... And they deserve to win. Brian? Yeah, you got a shot. Uh, I think it was three for 17 in the last 14 minutes. What went wrong offensively? What do you kind of attribute that to? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, a lot of things. Um, obviously, most disappointed in the 19 turnovers, I thought, you know, we, we, we really gave up points because of our turnovers. And, and you know, we could have won this game 40 to. 38, you know, type of deal. Um, some nights the ball's not going. I thought we got, you know, some good looks even at the end, a couple, you know, decent looks to tie the game back up. But, uh, you know, the ball wasn't going in. We, we didn't play with the right energy that we needed to in a game like this. And, you know, I don't know if it's from the other night or a little, you know, but like these, this group has been great. We had maybe our best practice of the season yesterday. We, we really, um, you know, so I was confident coming in. We just didn't play that way. Foul trouble early. Game was kind of choppy, and you know, it didn't bode well for us. And we certainly didn't make shots when we had the opportunities to. No. You mentioned the shots at the end. Uh, shots around the rim have been a bit of an issue throughout yeah. the season. You went seven of sixteen on layups today. Yeah. I guess one, how killer are those? And is there something you you do, or is that just a matter of? Yeah, I mean, I know that's a big stat, and you know, in the stat world, uh, you, you know, well, we just you know have to finish. We have to embrace the contact. We have to you know do a better job, obviously. And in today's game, you just need a couple of those to kind of go. They would have kind of changed things, but um, we're spending a lot of time in practice, you know, but. You know, we need to make threes. We can't turn the ball over like this. And, and we're not a big turnover team. We're actually pretty good with the basketball. So, uh, but Seton, you know, one player had six steals. I think Richmond did. I mean, like just popping up in the middle, got great length there. They have really good athleticism. They're anticipators. And, you know, we just didn't do a great job of handling the, you know, handling their length. Steve, some of the fans seem to think Casey stepped on the, you know, out of bounds there at the end and maybe it should have been a turnover. Did you see anything there? Did you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I didn't. You know, I didn't see. The ref said he didn't. So, you know, to watch the film. Steve, uh, Casey and Defo obviously has a reputation as a phenomenal defensive player. What did you see tonight um, in that matchup down low between him and Cliff? Where Cliff you mean, low? obviously, he's. Uh, Shot blocker is unique, you know, and the way he plays. You know, Cliff again early foul trouble. You know, took him out of the rhythm of the game. I put him back in with the two, and he was able to score some points with us. But uh, you know, I, I just again we never got into a rhythm offensively because of our you know turnovers and um, you know. But again, he's he's a tough matchup. He's kind of unique in how he plays. He's strong. He's quick. Um, I mean, you know, he did a, he did a good job in, in, in that matchup. Yeah. Do you feel like you guys were caught off guard by Seton Hall's physicality, especially around the rim? Um, I don't think we were caught off guard. I actually think we were very well prepared, like for this game, and I, you know our guys knew how athletic they were, um, and they have good size, especially at those wing spots. Um, you know, we we just didn't do a great job of reversing the ball and running our sets, um, and the game did get choppy and. You know, you're never in a rhythm when you're turning it over every other time down the court. So, I, I think we were we have a lot of respect for them, and 
Samuel's good. Nadefu, obviously. And Al Dawes is a guy we've played against before at Clemson, and we knew the kind of player he was. And, you know, Richmond, I knew, you know, he's got some shake to his game, and I have a ton of respect for him. And, you know, and Trey Jackson, and, you know, the guys they bring off the bench, um, Davis, like talented, you know, talented guys. How, how hard was it to get past Thursday night's officiating debacle? Uh, it was a national story for a full day. How, how difficult was it to turn the page when you're in that you, spot? You know, we tried to, you know, and, and, and in this league and with the kind of schedule that we play, you got to, you know, turn the page quickly. Like I said, I thought we had our best practice yesterday. Um, and usually how we practice, we kind of play. And, and, and that didn't, you know, that didn't show today. Um, it was a distraction, but there's a lot of distractions during the course of a season, and you know we just kind of tried to move on from that. But it was a quick turnaround, obviously, to this game, and uh, you know I don't like to make any excuses, but you know maybe it played a role in, in us not playing that way. But you know um, that's not an excuse. Uh, that was, you all had zero offensive rebounds in the first half, in the second half they had eight. Uh, what? What was the change on the glass for the first time? Yeah, I mean, you know, they did it. I thought we had some, like, excellent defensive stops, and we just couldn't grab that basketball and get a hold of it, and they took advantage of it. They made a couple big shots off of what I would consider some of our great defensive possessions, but we just weren't able to corral it. One time, two guys went up and knocked it out of each other's hands, you know, and, and they got it back. So, you know, there were big plays, you know, down the stretch. It's a two-point game, so every one of those matters, and we didn't do a good job in the second half of, of corralling those and, 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 and getting those uh, getting those second shot attempts. You know, obviously, an emotional few days between what happened in Columbus, losing to a rival today. You guys have a week off before you play Wake Forest again. How do you kind of prevent this from spiraling and becoming, you know? Well, I mean, we're, 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 yeah. this is the league. If you can't prevent, you know, like you got to play basketball. And when we play well, we... We play well most of the season here, so you know it's going to be good for us. We got a couple guys banged up, so you know get a little healthy. Obviously, you got to get better, and we can't perform you know like that. We can't turn the ball over 19 times. Um, you know, got to finish around the basket. And uh, this is a good team. The same team that beat Indiana, um, who's a pretty good team. Um, and this is a team that has played really well um, all season long. So we'll get we'll regroup and. You know, we'll, we'll get back to work and, and we'll improve on some of those things that we haven't done well.